What is up guys and welcome back. Right, eventually I get to put out this researcher video. It's taken me a long time and eventually one of my subscribers told me where the last one was and ironically it was the first entry that I needed and it was staring at me in the face the entire time. So without further ado guys, let's get into it. Right, the first one guys, the water filters, which is the last one that I got. The hermit's abode there, probably not an area that you're not familiar with. And there it is, sitting on the wall, right over there, even with a dot. So we're going to go ahead and scan that. Then the next one, also there's a timeline in the description, guys. And also a list of the skills you will need further down the timeline. Water filters right there. The next one's going to be in the same area, no need to show the map. Hermit's abode. Right over here, the ladder. This is pretty much, I think, the first or second recording Where I did on the game this room for on uh, Thursday and night last supplies. week. And what I'm going to do is just show a quick clip of the data bank right there. And I'll do that with all of them. And I do get better and, uh, at creating these guides as you keep on creating them. And uh, showing the map a little bit better as well. Although there's no easy way to show the map, is there? Like this area here, a lot of the map isn't showing yet, but... Uh, You'll know exactly where these stupid fans are and how to, well, the chest that you can't get to just yet. Let me skip ahead there, just going to slow it down. And of course, the research is going to be right over there ahead of us. And there is the elusive chest. You have to go down from the top and drop down. Or you can also use the rope going over to the last two research items you need for this guide. But for now, we're going to grab that one right there. And that is going to be research notes in the abandoned workshop. Use this place to study the sphere above. The abandoned workshop does stretch feel the quite far and wide, to be honest. Up, oh, and I pegged instantly. Then I decided to look at the research. Strange. Research notes right there. Next one is going to be traveling to the vault. Well, that's the name of the research item. Or data bank research item. <laughs> However you want to phrase it. But it's going to be right over here. And again, not much of the map showing, being very early days. And you can go up there to the top, but we're going to head to the right, next to the uh, pad right there. And there's some murals on the wall right here. Traveling to the vault. This tool was used by someone eager to reach the vault. And I actually hope that that creature that you can see traveling around on the distant uh, Mesa top over there that you can't kill. Because if you watch it for a long time, he gets on his back and he... Scratches in the grass like a dog, he yawns. It's just, it looks too cute. He doesn't look like a beast. So I hope you can't kill it in the end. It might be one of the five creatures you can take out, but I have no idea. The subterranean refuge. Now, I do come back for a couple here. So obviously you've got the wall run already. And, uh, and if, again, like I say in my other videos, if you don't have a skill or you need a rebreather or double jump or something, just follow the storyline and you will get them. And you can always come back here. There's no need to rush these. Now, there is a couple Whoever more in here that you can get, off. but I do they put it at the end of the video the because you might need double jump to get the last one, but I haven't tried it without double jump. It'll just be incredibly difficult, and there's no, no need to put yourself through that. So the next one is going to be meditation, and this is going to be also the subterranean refuge right there. It's going to be a bit further back. gonna jump the walls and yes I didn't make it the first time so with the power of editing I made it there it is right there meditation this area was used for meditation there's someone familiar with the Jedi order that had to have been the next one is going to be the research camp with my favorite beastie being the research E here he is. I don't quite know what to call her or him or it. But the Great Divide. And again, you're going to be very familiar with this place. There's the lift right there. The subterranean refuge is just a bit further on. So potentially this one should have come beforehand. But uh, as long as they're all here and you can grab them, I'm going to give myself a pass on that one. Right over here. Binog or Binog? Binog. Someone made camp here. They were excited to discover a giant creature that lives close by. A binog, they called it. Binog. Awesome. Hopefully you never have to kill that guy. Because your first instinct is to get there and take it out, but they just they tease you with it. 
Okay, next one is going to be the Faded Mural. This is going to be smack bang in the middle of the area. You'll be coming through here a shite ton load. As you can see, my goal is uh, to search Zepho. So even this was pretty far back. I've completed Thanks, Darth Mere now. But not the storyline yet. Takes a long time to record this stuff. There we go, Faded Mural. Now guys, this is when I returned a lot later. This is pretty much my character as it is now. And again, you could have got this beforehand, but um, to make it easier, I just came back. Just like I mentioned, there's no need to be pulling your hair out over this. But if you've got the wall run, you can get the first one. But the second one, you might need the double jump. So you can just do this all the way up. And there it is right there. It's Cordova's journey as well. It was Cordova's. He was troubled by endless war. <laughs> Determined that the Jedi were making a mistake and what he was doing here was more important. Potentially, each their own. There we go, secluded refuge, or sanctuary at least, secluded, secluded sanctuary. Now this is the one you might need a double jump for. It'll definitely be easier if you have double jump. Let us come back once you've uh, done some more of the storyline. They are all automatically given to you at some stage. A lot of the stuff was in the Kashi with the Wookiee missions when you meet the chieftain. See over here, I was like, uh, okay, okay, there is a wall, so we can do the wall jump. And then you can also pull. Push and pull. Well, pull, man, yeah, I had to show that. There he is. Love him to bits. How you doing, buddy? Anyway, when you've done gasping at the giant beast, then we can head to the wall over here. And over here, you might struggle with that double jump. And also the pull, you could also get to that first rope without pull. But uh, again, just going to be easier if you have those two skills, so pop back later when you've got them. Cordova was here. He felt alone. Missing his Padawan. Aww. Alright, Cordova's Padawan done. Next one is going to be, let's see, Old Memories. The Abandoned Workshop. Now you're going to need the Comlink repaired as well as the Push uh, Force skill. So again, come back here when you have those skills. Just follow the storyline and you'll get all of those skills, like I keep saying. So there is a shrubbery wall in front of you, so ascend that, if you please. We're going to get two in here. You're going to get the old memories as well as the droid cairn, which uh, I want to walk up to and kick over like days gone. But nope. Right in here is where you want to be. Unlocking. Thank you. Thank you. Nice one, BD. So in here, just to the right, is going to be the old memories. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Cordova's repair Force kit. Force essence acquired. He hoped someone would pick up his trail, but left BD1 to guide them. Yeah. And there's another one right over there, but first we're going to have a look at that. Old memories in the data bank. Then, in the same room as you just saw, to my left is the double-sided or double-bladed uh, lightsaber, and to my right is the droid can. Oh. Saute. All right, that is number twelve done. We have one more, guys. The weather sensor. For this, you're going to need the pull skill to pull the bridge down. See, I'm in the area now, so you're backtracking. Use that rope to swing across onto the bugger <laughs> Pogdo sinkholes. Onto right there, and that bridge over there is the one you're going to have to pull down. Because it will be upright. Then you get to this little hut, and up we go. And then we are done. Super stoked to get that done. Awesome view from up here. It's probably why they do it, as the last one. Let's have a look around. Out. Absolutely awesome. Look at the sky as well. Planets in the distance. Just everything is awesome. As you can see, massive overview from there. But guys, that is going to bring us to the end of the video. Please smash the like button if you are enjoying the content and subscribe if you are really enjoying it. I've got tons of guides on the way. A lot of collectibles like this for every single planet that we're going to go to as uh, detailed as possible with the description and all the skills you need. In the end, you'll just have the skills anyway. It'll be a lot easier to get through. So I want to say thank you so very much for watching, guys. And I'm definitely going to catch you on the next one.
Ah! Oh. 